Alright guys, uh, today I got the E-Revo and I bought a Willy Bar right here, really good looking Willy Bar right here. Got little uh, springs on it to give it a little absorbation as it hits the ground. Alright, and uh, I'm just going to show you a couple of steps that you have to do to put this guy in. Alright, this is really simple guys. First of all, all I did was I took off the wing. All right, it got two little screws right here. All right, with the little washers that look something like that. All right, so the Willy Bar comes with this little guy right here, this long bolt, and then it has a little spacer, and then it has a little screw, a nut, that goes on this end, all right? So it's a simple process, and it should take you 20 minutes. Remove the wing, first of all. I uh, had to sneeze, so I had to pause my camera. And it's gonna come with two little screws, also. All right. So let's put all that to the side. All right, guys. So just to show you where your Willy bar is gonna go is, this screw will be going right through here, with this little spacer right in between, right there. Right. So pretty much, this will go in here, right? But between the wing support here, right? And uh, this little nut will grab it from the other end. All right. So what we need to do is we need to remove this little guy right here. All right. And uh, also this one on the opposite side. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off this little screw right here. We can save this because we're gonna be replacing this with a different length screw that came with the the Willy bar. All right, so that's one of the screws right there, and there's one on the opposite side, just like so. Right, remove that also. And we're pretty much more than halfway done and we're gonna stick this little guy in there all right while we add it so it, we need something to support it we're gonna take our little screws so these two screws are gonna take the spot for the two screws we took off they're just a little lengthier that's about it because it needs to travel through the willy bar through that white little spacer into the holder of the wing support all right guys and all right at this point we're not gonna tighten it we need a different size allen all right let me see if this works i didn't even know i had to go grab something else in the future we will be using power tools i'm waiting for my kit to come in all right and then i'll do the same thing on the opposite side guys It does come with instructions, so just follow those instructions. All right, I don't want to tighten it all the way because we need to maneuver this guy around. So what we're gonna do next is I'm gonna put this little guy right through here, but on the other end I have to align this right in the center. And it will go right through and it will come out through the other end all right just like so then we have this little guy hopefully I have a wrench for this I found a wrench the other day I don't know if it would fit that little screw if it does that would be awesome so it doesn't, alright guys, so I'm going to have to grab it with uh, some type of needle nose or something. But anyways, let's just continue the job. You can even hold it by hand, because it's not going anywhere, right? Well, I'm at the wrong screw, I don't even know why I'm holding it, I need to hold the one on this side. Alright? And definitely not going to be able to hold it, because it's already turning on me. But let me tighten these two guys, and, and then I'll take a moment and tighten the other guy all right so there we have it guys this woolly bar is tight all i need to do is tighten this little guy 
but I need to hold it with something. Let me go get a needle on those. All right. I have a lot of tools here. All right, I'll use something at the moment to hold this little guy and I'll tighten this. All done, guys. That's it. Always check to see if the stock screws are tight because sometimes they will not tighten it. All right. You will think they're tight, but they're really not tight. So always confirm it yourself. All right, they seem to be all tight. All right, that's it, guys. So we're done there pretty much. We got two extra spare screws, which we need to save for future sake. You never know when you're going to go back. So I'll take the two screws, put them in this bag, and I'll label it e Revo Willy Bar replacement of original screws, which came off right here. And the phone rings. All right, guys. Uh, ignore that phone call. The phone always rings. Telemarketings. Anyways, putting the uh, wing back. If you guys have any other car guys you need help with anything just shoot me a message even if you don't see it in my videos I might be able to do some research because to be in this hobby you gotta know stuff you know you can't just jump into it so and sometimes you gotta do research you don't even really gotta know you need to do some research right tightening these screws just make sure if they're going into plastic just tighten it just enough so you don't kill the or strip the threads or the, the crack the housing all right so that's it this is done job well done and there we have it guys the willy bar is installed on this e vivo so here we go the car takes off and hits the ground all right so that's how it's gonna work it's gonna lift up just like that, all right? And it's gonna avoid it from flipping over. And it'll do a willy and just drag on those two tires. All right, guys, so thank you. Subscribe, bye-bye, and I will see you on the next one. If you guys need help with anything else, like I said, send me a message, all right? Alright guys, check out the Willy Bar. There's a Willy Bar in the E-Vivo. This is just a little show and a little preview of what I mounted here. And you see that? How it works? Let's give it another shot from this angle so you guys can see how this Willy Bar would touch the ground. Another demo right here guys, check this out. Prevents the car from just flipping over, right? And it does willies on that bar. Yeah, that's what you get by putting a willy bar.
It's a lot of power in this little bad boy. Hey guys there you have it all right don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys got any question guys let me know all right you always gotta lubricate the little bearings in there all right keep eye on this little guy and uh you can't just let it dry up and uh especially when you're doing runs in rain water snow all right always throw some wd-40 in there check out my videos i got a lot of videos on uh, maintenance and repairs and uh lubrication on all these cars all right so bye bye